quite a strong wind. And it does go down the middle. 35, 36, 37. Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm doing a 2000 watt build. It's been it's been a few months to be honest, or well, a few weeks at least since I've done an Andy Kirby 2000 watt kit. People who have subscribed to me have seen I've been doing like a sort of unrestricted 250 watt kits, 500 watt kits, 1000 watt kits. It's been a while since I've done a 2000 watt and I'm kind of missing that extra little bit of power that you get on a 2000 watt build. I'm doing a few little minor upgrades on this just to make it possibly one of the best builds that I've done so far of the 2000 watt conversions for the channel. Firstly, I haven't ordered the standard 17 and a half amp hour battery. I've actually gone for 20 amp hour. So it's gonna have extra range. I mean, 17 and a half amp hour is not far off 20 anyway, but this bike's gonna have mega good range with 20 amp hours. It's gonna, you know, potentially go for hours depending on your style of riding it's going to have really good range really good power really good speed it's in a you know in a nice popular color black plain black with the white specialized logo looks really nice disc brakes yeah all right let's take you in and show you some of the things that I'm, I'm doing just to make it that little bit better quality like the conversion because I mount these controllers externally um, I never quite like it on the black bike when it's silver so I've actually got some Hammerite direct to metal spray and given it two or three coats and it's actually come out pretty decent as you can see. So hopefully that'll be going on top of the massive 20 amp hour battery that I'm putting in there. But the battery that you get with Andy Kirby kit is not far off at 17 and a half amp hours. There's not going to be a lot of difference but it's just a little bit of extra juice. Also, just little things I'm trying to do on this build to make it that much better than usual. Um, this has got internally rooted cables, which there's no way I'm going to get the throttle and other um, control cables, excuse me, through the frame. So I bought these little clips, which I'm going to cable tie it to here first off the bars, and then I'm going to run it under this tube so you barely notice it, because I don't want any, I don't want any zip ties going around the actual frame, especially this black and white logo. Just little things like that, hopefully. I mean, this build should be pretty epic in a way because, yeah, it's going to have a massive battery. It's going to be the most powerful kit you can get from Andy Kirby for a mountain bike. Yeah, should be pretty decent when it's done. Just at a bike shop running through the uh, gears and brakes. Just a pre-sales checkup or post-sales checkup, isn't it? 90% done now. That's nice. What year is that, RM? Lovely. Proper retro now, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? And a CR behind it, actually. That's a bit later, though, isn't it? 125 or 250? The CR? Uh, 125. Brings back memories just seeing all yeah. the stickers. The, uh... well, like, as soon as I opened that door yesterday, it was like I was a kid again. It was like, yeah, oh it takes you back, doesn't it? Like HRC, right. Pro Link on the swing arm, DG USA sticker on the full floater. Definitely brings back memories. Oh, it's got a little bit windy guys, but it is done. Hopefully you can hear this mic coming out. Taking it for a quick test ride about five miles. The battery wasn't fully charged, but yeah, that was all right. It's decent. I think, um, what did I hit? Maximum 45. I'm not sure I went that fast. I'm pretty sure I saw it do 38. I don't know why it's saying 45. Might be, I might have spun the back wheel up with it off the air, but being totally honest, it's done about 38. That's probably about the right for this throttle only without pedalling, without being down a massive hill. Probably do over 40 down a hill, but yeah, throttle only, lock on grips, level assist, power button, color display, 20 amp hour, massive. 52 volt battery, I think that's about a thousand and forty watt hours. Controller painted in satin black. Yeah. And the last thing to do is to take this for a quick test ride. Brakes are good. Alright. See what happens. I'm gonna get stuck behind these cars. It's quite a strong wind. Ah. Uh, and it does go down the middle. 35, 36, 37. Having a back off. 
I think it's safe to say this thing's going to do 38, 39. Without too much trouble. Absolutely no problems keeping up the traffic. Now, if anyone's interested in this bike, I'll leave a link in the description to my Facebook page. I'm going to put this one up for sale. And I think that's it for today. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this little build. A few little, uh, few little new things I'm trying out. Spraying the controller black for a bit more of a stealth look. A little bit tidier on the cable routing and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment. I'll see you guys in a video soon.